designs with 3dprodev.com. Today I'll be showing you how opacity maps work. So what I did is I actually jumped into one of my product description pages and uh, this mesh right here is actually a, uh, a chain mesh with an opacity map and actually a couple of triggers. So um, the way this mesh works is uh, this is the actual mesh and this right here is set up with an opacity map. So if I scroll down a little bit more, you'll see these two maps. Um, and this, these two maps actually affect how the, the chain actually looks. Or should I say the charm actually looks. So uh, your first one is your texture. So this is actually what's going to give uh, color to your, um, to your mesh. But mo more importantly, this opacity uh, map is going to give the actual shape to the mesh. So uh, anything white um, will actually be um, opaque, therefore the term opacity. Um, and anything black will actually um, not be shown at all. So once you mix these two maps, um, you get something like this. Um, and then gray values will be calculated as uh, transparent. So uh, the, the closer the value is to black, uh, the less transparent it will be. And the closer to white is um, the more transparent it will be. So um, let's get down to uh, the actual product. Uh, so what I'm going to do is scroll down and um, copy the um, the product number. And we'll jump to the IMVU. And um, we'll go ahead and derive. Um, no, actually what I'll do is I want to edit this product. I'll put it in, I hit go. Okay, so um, they gave us a uh, female avatar. Um, that's not really what I want just because the way the uh, the body looks, it's actually going to kind of interfere with our chain. So we can fix that real quick. If we go to config, um, I believe it's, um, if I'm not mistaken, 181. Nope, 181 is the female, so I actually have to type in 90, and it should give us our male avatar. Hmm, damn, it's the Pac-Man. Okay, <laughs> it's 191. There we go. And actually, that's um that's something that's kind of hidden within IMVU. If uh, they actually have a couple other. Easter eggs where um, if you type uh, certain numbers, um, you will get different uh, models. So there you see it. If you type in, um, what was it, 90, you will get um, Pac-Man in the preview. So you learn something new every day. Yep. But we'll want 191. Okay, so here in create mode, um, I'll jump into my message tab. And I'll go ahead and click the... Um, the map that's actually controlling the um, the charm. So as soon as we delete this opacity map and apply the changes, you see that our shape is uh, pretty much back to this, just with the texture on it. So um, what I'll do is I'll jump into Photoshop and I'll make a brand new uh, opacity map uh, to show you exactly the, how the whole process works. So I create a new 512 because that's the uh, resolution of my map by 512 and uh, I already have a um, just create a quick layer and apply a style to it um, this is uh, a preset style I already made in Photoshop so kind of looks like chrome or silver um, and then what I'll do is I'll make another layer and actually, I'll turn this one off. So we'll want to go ahead and fill this with black. So that's not black. There we go. And then uh, we'll make a new layer. And we'll type in, uh, I don't know, some text. We'll get our color to white. And uh, let's put our font up a little bit. So we'll just type in 
capacity maps. So, and then, um, the, actually, you know what? We'll go, we'll get, we'll put a little style to it. So we'll put in gangster opacity maps. There we go. Look at that. Um, uh, what I want to do is um, kind of put this a little bit closer together. So um, we'll go to I'm trying to find my character's palette. Um, sometimes I have to uh, shut off a, a palette and then bring it back up uh, to see where it was actually at. So it was actually on my other monitor. Um, and what I want to do is probably um, put these these words a little closer. Uh, that's too close. Spread them out just a tad bit. Okay, that that seems to work. Um, go ahead, and make this a little bigger. Um, And then what what I'll do is I'll I'll, I'll convert this to a um, to actual image. So now I can just grab this. And um, this is, I'm probably getting way too much fancier than I need to get for uh, just showing you this. So. Um, okay, there we go. So there's our opacity. So what we'll do is file, um, save this out. Um, we'll save it as a JPEG. Um, yeah, it's fine. I'll just save it on the desktop. Um, so... And then what we'll do is we'll save out our texture. Um, cool. Let's save that. So we'll just jump back in the uh, create mode. So, load up our texture that we just made. Load up our alpha. Well, um, alpha is um, actually the uh, the uh, another name for opacity. So, and then we'll apply the changes, and there you go. Um, look at that. So there's our opacity. So we'll go ahead and strike the pose. Bam. And uh, that's pretty much it for our um, tutorial on um, opacity maps. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.